guy coming up is hilarious, a very funny guy. You're going to love him from Los Angeles. Harris Whittles, everybody. Harris Whittles. Hi, it's good to meet you. Uh, precursor. If anything I say like offends you, rubs you the wrong way, they're jokes. They're all just jokes, okay? Except for a lot of the racist stuff. All right? Got to clarify that. Moving forward. My day was off to kind of like a weird start because I try to do the thing that you shouldn't try to do if you're a guy such as myself. You try to uh, take your morning piss and brush your teeth at the same time, right? You think you're coordinated enough to do that. What actually ends up happening is your toothbrush just stays still and you end up pissing all over the wall. You know what I'm saying? If you're taking a piss and sneezed at the same time, turn your dick inside out. That shit is rowdy. <laughs> But, uh, no, so does that happen to girls, too? I don't know. I'm serious. Does it, what happens? Does it shoot outwards like a souffle out of the pan? I don't know. I'm wondering. I've been watching a lot of Iron Chef lately. That explains the analogies to cooking. I should also get bonus laughs because I said souffle. That's a French, right? I'm, uh, I'm not good at talking to girls, women, everything in between. I'm not good. And I'm not... We did it, guys. Now shut up. I gotta make up for lost time. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> no. Where was? What are they talking about? Oh, girls, not good at hitting on them, because my uh, mic always fucking goes out, and they're like, what? But uh... no, it actually that's a good segue into what I'm about to say. You'll see, because. Uh, Society has designated clubs and bars as like the place that we're supposed to go to get our fuck on, right? It's so loud in those places. It's so loud that I can't effectively communicate my dumb joke to whatever girl I'm trying to talk to, right? I have to repeat myself like 20 times, and I have to shorten what I'm saying every time. It doesn't make any sense anymore. I'm just like yelling weird shit at some poor girl, right? It's like... Hey, you got a couple of Jaeger bombs there, huh? That's a lot of sugar. I hope you're not diabetic. She's like, what? I can't hear you. I'm like, that's, there's so much sugar in that. I hope you, that you don't have diabetes. She's like, what? I'm like, my friend's dad has diabetes. It's a terrible ailment. What? And 7% of all Americans actually suffer from that ailment. Is diabetes an ailment? Am I saying that right? And she's like, oh, I heard that. And that's what she hears, just the lunatic running up to her and yelling at her about his diabetes and ailment. That's a weird opener. It's a weird opener, gentlemen. Don't use it. Also, just some other advice. Uh, if you want to tell a girl that something about her is pretty or attractive, uh, don't pick her breasts. And if you do, if you do, don't call them tits. And if you do, don't use the adjective cool. <laughs> hey, cool tits, very cool. Very cool. Don't thumbs up tits, it's weird. A uh, new hobby of mine is, uh, you can use this hobby, coming up with band names that don't match the genre of music that the band is. Like, I want to see, like, a Christian rock band named, like, Fuck Train. Right? <laughs> What's up? We're fuck train. This is for G-O-D. Like, what? It is? Really? Or like a gangster, like a hardcore gangster rapper named Compromise, you know? Like, what's up, man? I'll take shit from anybody as long as it's reasonable. Like, All right, fair enough. Like a country band called My Black Friend. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the band. Don't get angry at me. I'm holding a mirror up to society. I, uh, I hate my roommate. Uh, he's like my best friend and I hate him, right? That's normal, I think. He does shit that only I see. I'm privy to this because I live with him. No one else has to see this, so no one gets why I hate him. We were watching TV one time and he was eating like a sleeve of saltine crackers. You know what I'm talking about? And he was doing this thing, like pretending like he was eating a feast. He would take a saltine and chew it and spit that out onto a blank saltine and eat the whole thing like it's an hors d'oeuvre. That's insane. That's the shit that insanity is made out of, right? 
but thankfully we don't live in the same we don't live in the same room we were roommates for the better part of college for like four years we live in the same room which you know it makes it very difficult to do things at your penis right <laughs> You have to coordinate your schedules perfectly to allow for adequate time for this. But we had like identical schedules, me and him. So it left two times for me to do this to me. I'm sure you can relate. Those two times, when I'm, when I'm in the shower or when he's sleeping, right? And when I'm in the shower, it doesn't work because I don't know what it is about my anatomy, but I can't climax while standing up. Like my knees just buckle and I fall and I hurt me. <laughs> and I have to support myself using my forehead against the side of the shower. And you're probably like, dude, just use your other hand to hold yourself up. I can't, because I have to play with my balls and a thing that connects. You know, I don't have to tell you. And when he's sleeping, it doesn't work, because I have to constantly look over at him and check if he's waking up, which basically equates to staring at and jerking off to my roommate. So that's no good either. Well, I got to get out of here, but first, I want to get real about racism, you guys. I want to get real. There's a lot of it out there. And I had an epiphany about it recently when I was babysitting a friend's bunny rabbit. Hear me out. All those unjust stereotypes about different groups of people, if we just focused all of those onto rabbits, okay, the world would be happier. Think about it. They already meet most of the criteria that I'm talking about. They smell bad, like the you know who. They're bad drivers, like the do I even have to say? And they're money-grubbing Jews with weird Jew noses. I can say that, relax, I can say that, because I myself hate Jews. Thanks a lot, you guys have been fun. Uh -huh.